Good morning everyone. We are about to head off on our trip to Devon but we've literally packed the kitchen sink oh, and the I entire mean, house. We're going for like... Four days? Monday to Friday? Five days? Feels, four nights? I don't know why but it feels like we've packed an awful lot of stuff. Yeah, um, I think it's because we're taking the dog. Yeah, it is. It's exactly what it is. And it's the first time we've taken the dog in, in, the this, yeah, in this van and with we us camp to with stay. Her, and that's, that has definitely meant that we've kind of like packed a lot more stuff because we're trying to sort of think about different eventualities yeah um but, but we, we thought it'd be really useful to yeah to basically show you guys around so you could have a good laugh right? yeah have a at laugh how much we have packed i'm sure we're all in the um, same boat everybody does this right everybody overpacks and just brings things they never use and yeah. then the one thing they do need they forget exactly yeah. and that's the other thing is actually like the fast the uh, fast the past few days have been really beautiful here but actually looking at the forecast it's a bit hit and miss and so that doesn't help as well because you're sort of then trying to pack for kind of all weathers and it's just so, a great british weather isn't yeah. it you have to pack for every season exactly in a week exactly but, so uh, anyway without yes. further ado let's show you round. let's and, uh, start with our trailer which we got off ebay yes. last year for like 400 quid it was amazing it was such a bargain but yeah. anyway almost we've got our um trailer for now so this is the first um as you can see quite space consuming uh, item that we have packed that we wouldn't normally bring um we haven't really tried it out with her that much we've 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 had so it her basically goes in the back of the bike so yeah it? yeah yeah so we've had her like we we trialed her out we did a bit of training in the garden <laughs> so it's, it's great because it's yeah it goes on the back of the bike but you can also use it as a um push chair which I know sounds ridiculous but actually she's not the most agile of dogs and she walks fine but not for long distances and certainly not in any kind of heat um so we're thinking it could be useful we don't know we'll see how that goes but, but it's underneath big that, we underneath that we've got our awning, awning. yeah and there's the uh that's the bottom sheet of the carpet for the awning and we've got the wheels for the trailer the so this is another big bottom sheet we're going to bring um we've got um and a this hold. hasn't been very well packed no this. so this is wood our, com our collapsible fire pit which we showed on our last video yeah and uh, bike helmets, bike helmets and then just a couple of beach uh what do you call those beach mats beach mats yeah and we've got our uh our leveling blocks there for the van and a room just to keep things neat and tidy so, so moving inside inside the van we have uh, well let's go in the front first actually okay. front, front, front first so front first um so it's pretty straightforward so we've just got a couple of snacks for the journey waters usual stuff that you might have and uh, of course chewy up front here and then uh inside obviously all the kids paraphernalia yeah all the kids stuff. so a pot i mean this just looks like a train's kind of you know gone through it doesn't it really um, but we have done a whole video on this uh this kind of storage area which we'll put a link in the description below so you guys can check it I, out i just have to say this was really neat and tidy and then the kids packed <laughs> so now it's not so sorry about that um you can tell it's easter because it's full of like chocolate stuff that they've insisted that has to come um and this is Nala's toys. The girls wanted to bring a few few little toys for Nala, so that's just been kind of put on the back there. I'll just jump in. So at the back here, you see we've got the uh, we've got our uh, lovely uh, sliding chairs, kind of halfway back, just to give some room for the dog, so she can sit in the front with the kids. Uh, and we have a cupboard full of food. We've got some bread defrosting in there. We've got our little kind of cubby hole here, which we keep kind of towels and. Uh, electric cables and we've got all of our kind of daily items so our tea towels and our teas and coffees up here uh, got our portable toilet which we've done another video on which I'll have to link in the description below and we've got our fridge and the uh, iPad is already yes. hooked up for the kids to watch movies as we go and you can see their headphones ready to go just there and then down here we've got uh, our mat this is like a like an outdoor mat that we just put at the entrance to the van so it just keeps things neat and tidy and actually in here i don't think we've ever shown you this before we've talked about it but we've never actually done a video where it's been ready to go so this is where we keep all the kids clothes and it's really handy so we've just got this little latch right here and it just comes down and then there their um clothes are all in here so it's just been put up with the zip around the back but you can see we, this is just an ikea pouch so we've just got all their stuff in there um ready to go so it's really handy it's a great size it fits pretty much everything they need i mean every trip that we've ever done got everything in there everything's you? always gone in there for both of them so it's a great space um under there so that's that oh i should say we've got our shoes underneath here 
I'll maybe take the grapes off and our little uh, sandwich bag off and you guys can have a look. Look at that, full of shoes. Yeah. So we have shoes in there and below the shoes we have like a kind of very small garage area and that's where we keep things like kind of warning triangle, uh, some kind of spanners and that in case anything happens to the van. Yeah. And then we'll go around the back, which is just, you know, <laughs> but sorry. <laughs> I guess this is why we like having the sliding bed because it means yes. that we can push that, that seat yeah, forward yeah, yeah. and get so much stuff in the boot, which is really useful. Yeah. So in the back here, you can so, see. Yeah, so we'll start at the bottom. So we've got, um, okay, so yeah, so this is a, a spare fridge. The reason for that is um, because I guess where we're sort of veggie plant based, we, we do eat a lot of fresh produce. And so actually the fridge in here, it's great, but it doesn't really store a lot of stuff. And actually I have to, I have to say, finding the right temperature is really difficult. And it does actually, if you push a lot of the fresh produce, particularly things like berries or cucumbers and spinach, that sort of stuff, it, it just freezes it it just it just ruins it so so we find that having this is just really handy and that will go in the awning when we set up yes so obviously awnings in there so that will move out and then we'll have that, that and the other thing free. to mention we have in here are our camping beds yeah. our blow up beds the we don't reason, usually bring these <laughs> there's a reason for that and that is because nala god lover is a snorer and uh we're just not sure how the sleeping's gonna go um we've all got ear <laughs> <laughs> um, and we're going to give it a whirl and I, I, I think that there's a possibility that we could end up in the awning and she's in the van just because I don't want to put her in the awning on her own because like, for safety reasons really so um, yeah so basically we've got airbeds so this might end up being more of a camping trip for us than a van trip but we'll see we'll see how that goes um, and we've got our cool large sleeping bags which we've done a video on before so we'll link that in the description below our mucky football up there so these are our wraps so we've got our pot yes. top wrap and we've got our new thermal wrap which goes across the windows on, on the, the back, back, of the back you seats. can just about see we've got our camping, camping chairs, chairs and tables on there so in the wardrobe up in here is the clothes for me and martin and then we've got our garage section down here so down here we've got all of our sort okay, of electricals and, and all that kind of thing ready to go obviously we've got Nali's little bits up in here so her harnesses and her brush and snacks and stuff like that collapsible dog bowl and then in here <laughs> don't toilet. open the cupboard <laughs> yeah <laughs> i've been so prepared for this trip but up here I, I fashioned a little shelf so we could put toiletries and things in which is working quite nicely We've got our trusty uh climbing clips which come in really useful yeah and again this this sort of thing so this is like dog food and then we've got um like these are really good so you've got like a stake that you put in the ground and then you know you can cl clip nala onto it and stuff so pretty much you can kind of secure her wherever we go so we've got those handy put that back in there safely and Stay. shut the door <laughs> Um, so yeah, so that's it. And then I think there's a few other bits. Oh yeah. Up here we've so got we've got some uh, recreational stuff. So like toys for the kids. So there's some bats and balls and kites and stuff like that up there. And then um, in here, we again, we've done like a van tour before and, and told you guys, sorry, I just moved the uh, kite tail there. Um, no, there we go. Pop him up there. Is he going to stay? Yes. Um, so in here, we've got um, our you, medicine, uh, medicine, medicine yes. cabinet. So this is basically like, just, you know, everything you like, plasters, Savalon, cow pole, you know, all the things that you need for traveling with kids. It's all, all up in there. Uh, and obviously we've got our hooks up in here. We've got, again, these are just Ikea. So we've got our little doggy bums, um, little tails, uh, which we use for just, you know, coats, bags, whatever that uh, we've got to hang up out the way. Um, really good for sticking like bike helmets up there, just quick and easy out the way and stuff. Um, so yeah, so that's about it really. Um, so hopefully, <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully this video has told you what not to pack uh, and how to edit your own packing because clearly <laughs> we've done a fabulous job of bringing everything we own. Um, so yeah, so we'll see. We'll see on this trip. I think given that Nala's coming for the first time, given that we're not quite sure how the sleeping arrangements are going to go, how mobile she's going to be, how much we're going to be able to do with her. Um, for those of you that didn't know, there's a, she had an operation a few years ago on her legs. She's not particularly agile. She's not a mobile dog. Um, but we love her and so you know we want to bring her and we'll see how we get on with her but um but because of that we've ended up bringing a lot of stuff and i think it's just going to be error, it? exactly it's going to be the experience of doing it trial and error exactly right my love and uh, hopefully next time <laughs> we can be a bit more concise in our packing
from us. Uh, I think we've shown you the tour of all the crap we are bringing with us on our four day trip to Devon. Uh, it's going to be fun. We'll do a whole other video on how it goes and how we got on with the dog. So stay tuned for that one. Uh, the only thing left for us to put now is the bikes yep. on the bike rack. Hook uh, the trainer up and away we go. Yeah, you don't need to see me put the bikes on the bike rack unless you like to, to see how easy it is. Let if me you know. Want to, we, we can could, do a video. Yeah, we can yeah. do a video on that for you. But uh, yeah, please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys again soon. Bye. Bye. Thank you.